quick and easy guacamole. Hey guys, what's happening? Ralph coming at you for a Tasty Tuesday, a special edition of Tasty Tuesday. It's special because it's uh, a GoPro guacamole edition. So that's kind of exciting and special. I'm going to show you how I make quick and easy guacamole. If you guys watch our vlogs, then you'll know that we absolutely love guac, guacamole. We love it, we have a couple different recipes, but this one is like a really fast and easy recipe that I wanted to show you guys because sometimes you just wanna, you want that like guac, but you don't wanna go through all the tedious steps to make it. So it's super easy, super fast, super simple. So let's do it. What you're gonna need is one or two avocados. If you eat as much guac as we do, then it's gonna make enough for one or two people. But if you're not a huge fanatic like we are, then maybe two or three. So you're gonna need a couple avocados. You're gonna need one half to one full lemon. You're gonna need a clove of garlic. And also the fixings I have here are some crushed chilies, just like a teaspoon or less. You can add more if you like it spicier. And then just a pinch of Himalayan sea salt and black peppercorns crushed. And that's, that stuff really just makes it, makes it awesome. First thing you wanna do is pull the nipples off your avocados and then chop those bad boys up. So this is how you cut it. You cut it vertically around like this and then you can just kind of twist it. Twist that bad boy open just like that. Okay, that makes it really easy to cut it up. It really helps to have a sharp knife. We just sharpen, we try and sharpen these almost every day. You gotta keep sharp knives in your kitchen, man. Once we cut it in half, then we cut it in quarter. Grab that nut with a knife. Don't stab your, your hand, but you're just gonna kind of work it with a knife so until it comes out, okay? You can just set that aside, and then you're gonna cut those halves into quarters. And the reason we're cutting them into quarters is because it's easier to peel if you just cut the tip off like this and then look at how easy the skin comes off. Isn't that just amazing? I'm just gonna cut those in half and put them in the bowl, little bowl here. See how the skin just peels off? That's perfect. These avocados are so good. Sometimes you'll get like a bad avocado, you'll see like little spots, you wanna cut the spots out. But when it's, you wanna get all the green stuff, the little fuzzy green stuff, that's all the good nutritional stuff, nutritious contents. And when it peels off this easy, then you get to keep all that goodness. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna need a bigger bowl, so I'll be right back. Okay, got a bigger bowl. Drop those in there. And we'll tackle the second one now. So, same thing. Take the nipple off, cut it around the nut in half. Give it a twist. Careful not to stab yourself. Work that nut out. Cut it in half again. Grab the tip of the skin there and pull it back, drop it in the bowl. Once you have it cut, it's pretty easy. Just grab that skin, peel it back. You're gonna get a little bit messy here, but that's the fun part. All right, this is the longest, hardest part. So we're done the longest, hardest part. Okay, next, you have a clove of garlic. Here's a super easy way to uh, cut garlic. Either crush it like this and then peel the skin off, or what I like to do is just give it a crush it and then just cut the top and bottom off. It just falls right out of the skin like that and you can just throw it to the side. Now sometimes you'll get these little sprouts in the middle. I just cut them in half and then pull the middle out because those are a little bit bitter. Then you're gonna stick that in your garlic press. Give it a good squeeze. I'm gonna make it extra garlicky because I like garlic. Same thing, crush it, cut it. Skin falls off, cut it in half, pull those bitter pieces out, drop it in your garlic mincer. I'm actually gonna pull out a little bit there because it might be too much. So one to two cloves depending on how much you like garlic. Okay, and then I'm gonna drop in all those fixins that I'm just threw all over the table. So there's a pinch of crushed chili peppers to make it a little bit spicy, some black pepper, some pink Himalayan sea salt, drop that in there. Take that half a lemon, cut your half a lemon, and then just juice that baby in there. Oh yeah, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Make sure not to drop any seeds in like I just did. All right, so 
That is literally it, guys. All you have to do now is just crush it up. This is what I like to do here. Just kind of bring the avocado to the side and smash it. Once you do that a little bit more, you can grab a spoon and really mix it in there. Oh, hey. Lose home, guys. Once you're done mashing that business up, you're good to go. Check this out. Look at how delicious that guacamole looks. Boom. Go grab yourself some blue corn chips, dip it in there, and munch away. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So good, right? Mm -hmm. Classic. All right, guys, that's how you make quick and easy guacamole. So delicious, so good. Oh, uh, I'm a bee. <laughs> Go make some. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know if you have anything that you want to see on Tasty Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Go try some guac. Love you. Bye. Hey, Chico. We just be chilling.